all puffed up with no <coughs> where to blow, but I bubblefish spend most days swimming around in circles, holding their breath. In fact, these marine mushlings have got such terrible memories they can't remember what it is they're supposed to have forgotten. A bit like me, never upset one as they can splurt out gallons of multicoloured gloop and something I learned the hard way when I tried to examine one with my giant underwater fish spatula. It took whiskers still. At least I won't forget the incident. I got, I've got a nasty stain on my swimsuit to remind me. Code to catch blurb. Any moon orchard, any love berry, any and a pink love berry. To use value mermaids lingo like wow, there's something totally fishy going on here. Confused? Me too. I need to consult my mermaid translation book every time I hear one of those ditzy fishies speak. Maybe I'm never I'm getting old. Whatever. When they're not freaking out over the latest koi band or knocking back cappuccinos at the local star fish books. <coughs> these little, these hip little cuties love hooking up fellow mushlings. In fact, their hearts flash whenever they sense romance. Luckily for me, they are usually too busy yakking the notice this old timer, scribbling notes. Duh. Code to catch Kaylee. Or Callie. Magic bean, any yellow love berry, and blue love berry. Fumble. Give me five, off or, or how about three? Because when <clears throat> they're not cartwheeling along the seabed performing death, Defying stunts, acrobatic sea stars spend most days gluing their pointy bits back on. They are a bit accident prone, you see. The thing is, they can't resist showing off even if it means tumbling face first into a pile of poisonous seagrass. Now that's gonna hurt. A while back I got mixed up with a crazy pile when I was snorkeling in, o in Portion Ocean, a troop of sea stars bungeed off the coral formation straight onto my head. Luckily, I still had my trusty hat on. Any star blossom, yellow loveberry and a yellow magic bean. Although they are very cute, songful seahorses can be incredibly annoying. That's because they can't stop whistling awful. Awful sure seems really loudly. Each year, split in ditty is usually accompanied by a barrage of bubbles in a silly dance. My research suggests they are trying to attract other seahorses, but I've been unable to stand the racket long enough to confirm this. Even eomuffs are useless, that's why I invented a special squishy snout plug to muffle <coughs> their trumpety blasts. All I need now is <coughs> a volunteer to sneak up and plop in it in. <coughs> any takers? Dragon fruit, any. Loveberry, any. Loveberry, any.